Well, the hot debate rears its head once again and it's splitting West Ham fans down the middle. Should he stay or should he go? Now, with emotions running high after a poor defeat against Newcastle at the weekend, strap in as we dissect the five reasons why Moy should stay and why he should go. But the final verdict is with you guys. Um, so let's take a look at the reasons why we should be Moyes in. So firstly, you have to say the first trophy in 43 years is a big highlight for West Ham. Um, in an otherwise, you know, let's be honest, uninspiring season when we finished 14th, probably saved his job. Um, and yes, his squad was worth a hundred over a hundred million more than the rest of the teams combined, but it was a trophy win and it's the first, um, hopefully, of many. The relegation fears are gone. So I think this is a, a very valid one. I don't think West Ham really have to fear relegation anymore. Doesn't I hope I'm not tempting fate when I say that. Um, but it's allowed us to uh, buy some really good players. So three top seven finishes in four years uh, gives us that stability to sign players like Paqueta and Kudos and James Ward-Prowse, who hasn't had a great season, but he's still a very good player, just a little bit off form at the moment. You know, he has given us Jared Bowen, who is obviously an absolute legend at West Ham, and he's tied him down to a long-term contract. If Bowen plays the way he has been, then uh, that would be a very good bit of business. £20 million, an absolute bargain, uh, and he could certainly go on to be a club legend for West Ham. He's a lucky manager. Um, now, I'm not saying this to take the uh, the piss, actually. I think he is uh, he's a lucky manager. I think we finished higher than our squad status and our results and our style of play have merited. Um, but, you know, he's ground out those results. He's got the bit of luck, the rubber, the green where it's needed. Uh, we all know that he's, we've picked up points where probably we haven't deserved it. Um, so, yeah, maybe you'd rather have a lucky manager than a than a good manager. You know, we are where we are. You have to say he's hugely experienced and media savvy. He's the uh, third highest uh, Premier League games. Um, his savviness with the media has been very good. He hasn't really come under a huge amount of scrutiny. I think actually the media really love him. They buy into him. They're seeing something. We all know that West Ham fans don't, but he's, uh, he's going under the radar and that's taking the pressure off him and the team. So that's a good thing as well. Okay, so why should we be Moyes out? Well, we all know he's a defensive manager. Um, the West Ham defence has been been shocking this season to be honest we've shipped in 54 goals in 30 games that's only one less than the whole of last season but he insists on just sitting back and letting teams come on to him now to put that into context 15 clubs in the Premier League have a better defensive record than us so for someone who's who's known as a defensive manager he's not very uh, not very good at organising a defence possession now the possession stats for West Ham are absolutely shocking um, West Ham fans pay between 70 and 100 pounds to go to the London Stadium and watch football. But what they're actually watching is other teams play football around West Ham. Now, to put that into context, only Wolves have the worst, have a worse possession stat than West Ham in the Premier League this season. And in fact, looking at the top five European leagues, that's 96 teams. West Ham rank 94th in terms of possession out of 96. Just, just let that sink in. Bundesliga, Premier League, La Liga, um, League One and Serie A. West Ham are 94th out of 96 in terms of possession, which is absolutely is a shocking statistic when we've got Brazil's you know, number 10. We've got Jared Bowen, we've got Kudos, we've got James Will Prowse. We've got good players, but they just don't seem to, to hold on to the ball. Okay, uh, he's... Wasted money on players. He spent four hundred and fifty-two million pounds, which I think, which is definitely more than any other West Ham manager in history. Um, what have we got to show for it? Really, how many great players has he signed in that time? I'd argue very few. Um, good players we do have. The likes of a Kudos were a Tim Steigen signing, not even a Moyes signing. So it's dubious his his ability to spend money. I think it's very poor. And even the players he pushes for, like Calvin Phillips, um, should never wear claret and blue again. It's been an absolute shocking signing. Uh, definitely, oh, I can't stand him, but um, I'm sure everybody knows that anyway. Uh, one of the, his really big Achilles heels, I think, is that he struggles with strikers. Um, he signed 33 players since being at West Ham. Only two of those have been strikers. 
and that's Skamaka and Danny Ings. Neither of those have pulled up any trees. Um, he inherited Sebastian Haller. It wasn't his signing, but again, when he took him over, he, he couldn't get a tune out of him either. I think he's really poor with strikers. It kind of makes sense when you think about it because when he was at Everton, his two main goal threats there were Cahill and Fellaini, you know, both midfielders. So I don't think historically he's got a good history with strikers. Maybe you can prove me wrong, but looking back through the records I've looked at, hasn't really uh, hasn't really done the business. Uh, and he's a finger pointer. He's getting boring now. He's always saying decisions went against us. It's, it's pretty much his catchphrase now. It's never Moise's fault. It's the officials, game scheduling, bad luck, full moons, you know, whatever it is, it's, it's never his fault. And actually that's getting uh, quite boring. And I think his his manner, his demeanor is quite boring. It's quite, uh, he's quite miserable. I mean, he can't connect with West Ham fans. We don't buy into him. And you can see why he splits so many people. So the, the ball's in your court. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Should Moyes stay or should he go? This is something we'll be discussing on the Talking Ball Show on Monday nights, 8 p.m. Um, so leave your thoughts, comments. Give this video a like if you uh, agree or disagree. Uh, more importantly, if you want to come on the show and talk about David Moyes, I'd love to have you. So uh, please check us out. Uh, and I'd love to debate this with you live on air at the Talking Ball Show.